Now that the model is made, I want to look at some of the basics of UV mapping. I go to the file menu and do new. I'm going to delete the default cube and add mesh plane. I'm going to go into view, top view, and I'm going to open up a new window by dragging on the diagonal white lines here to open up a window, and I'm going to make the new window a UV image editor window. I'm going to the image menu and open image, and I'm going to find my image of some cactus texture. Click this button, turn the thumbnails on, that's the texture I want. I'm zooming in with the mouse wheel, I'm going to turn textured shading on, I'm going to go into edit mode, and in the mesh menu, UV unwrap, unwrap, and the texture is mapped to the plane. You may have noticed that the mapping is upside down. One way to cure this is to go to the UVs menu and mirror x-axis, UVs menu, mirror y-axis. I'm going to press S to scale and I'm going to shrink the mapping area down. I'm going to press G to grab to move the mapping area around. As I go off the texture image, it automatically tiles. So as I come to the bottom of one tile, I move on to the top of the next tile. Ideally, the image will have been edited so that it tiles seamlessly. I'm going to press S to scale, followed by Y for the Y direction, and I'm going to stretch out the mapping area. And everything inside the mapping area is mapped to the plane, even if it has to be distorted. I'm going to grab a single vertex, and again, everything inside is mapped to the plane. To reset that, I'm going to go to Mesh Menu, UV Unwrap, and Unwrap again. I'm going to press the keyboard letter A to select, make sure all the vertices are selected. I'm going to press S to scale, and I'm going to make the mapping area bigger. And if we look at the plane, there is the central tile with uh, a set of tiles surrounding it. I'm going to zoom out using the mouse wheel. Press S to scale again and make the mapping area bigger. And now we have uh, lots of tiles mapped to the plane. And I'm going to zoom out with the mouse wheel again and press S to scale and make the mapping area even bigger. And now we have many tiles. That was a quick look at the basics of UV mapping. In the next part of the tutorial, I'm going to look at unwrapping a 3D model using Smart UV Projection.